talking about a statutory body charged with the conduct of our elections. And the answer she gave today were unsatisfactory. Because we are submitting a budget estimate to the Parliament of Ghana, who has some oversight responsibility for government incomes, expenditures, and revenues. And you fail to capture a very important segment, which is internally generated funds. Whereas in that same year, you've collected from Ghanaian citizens, political par 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 parliamentary and presidential candidates, as well as others, right? And all these things were not captured in the budget estimate. And we've got it approved. So that, that's why I posed the rhetorical question to her, that now that her budget has been approved, and the, the finish of finance is going to release funds to her outfit, how is she going to rectify that anomaly? It's a matter of great importance to our country. She said that this is her personal explanation. You buy that? She's the chairperson of the, of the Electoral Commission of Ghana. She cannot have a personal explanation. The back stops with her. It was palpably manifested today. Palpably manifested today. That all is not well with our EC. You even saw the seating arrangement at the very beginning of proceedings where, where members were urging the two of them to sit together. So all is not well with the, with the, with the Ghana EC. And it took the change that the country, the, the people of this country voted for, that emphatic change that has brought this same division in the Electoral Commission. I mean, I think, I, think, I think there are interesting times ahead. I've just been informed today that the president has forwarded the petition to Chief Justice. So a committee will be put together to investigate all these more fees and more practices that have engulfed our, our elections since 1992.